Hey, what's going on? Rich here with Summit Life Group. I want to take a, a few minutes and talk about um, how to build a successful life insurance business, how to start a career or how to have a successful career selling life insurance. And, you know, one of the things that I've observed um, is that oftentimes people go out or someone goes out, they get a life insurance license and they, they start to become overwhelmed with all of the endless opportunities because there are so many opportunities for, for us to go out and, and sell life insurance. Uh, but with that often comes a lot of challenges because it's hard to get good at so many different um, products and concepts and so forth. And so what I want to encourage you is if you are, um, you know, if you're not yet making six figures selling life insurance, uh, if you haven't, if you're not successful yet with a, building your, your life insurance business, to, to really try to niche down as much as possible. The more you can niche down and focus, the easier it is to actually master um, that particular niche and become great at it. Uh, and the business becomes more fun and you have a lot more success. Uh, but there's a lot of temptations, again, when we, when we go out and we, we obtain a life insurance license and we start learning about all these different processes and concepts and all these different you know, shiny objects, all of which are great, but it's hard to master all of them at the same time. And so the more you can niche down, the, the easier it is to launch your business, to get profitable, um, and, and really build a, a profitable career. And what I mean by niche down is, and there's several, I mean, there's several ways you can continue to niche down. For example, it's not just products, right? You have traditional term insurance, whole life, index, universal annuities. You have different products, but more than that, you have sales concepts like tax-free retirement or, or key man insurance or 403B, 457. Like these are different sales concepts more than just products. And then to take it even a step further, there's sales processes. You know, are you selling over the phone? Are you selling face to face? You selling, you know, via Zoom and that type of thing. There, and there's a, a, even within that, there's a lot of different sales processes that you can niche down and master. Uh, and then to take it even further, it's it's actually insurance carriers. If you're an independent broker and you can kind of go out and get any life insurance contract, well. That's great, but it also comes with its own set of challenges because every life insurance carrier, um, you know, has their own little nuances and processes that 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 really it helps to master those processes. And so, for example, my my business partner a couple of years ago was a, a one of the top agents with a particular carrier, but he sold all of that business over the phone. So really, he was the probably the number one agent, I'm sure, with that particular company selling over the phone. Well. By doing that, he really mastered not only that carrier, but that's matching it with that particular sales process, and he mastered that, and he got very good at it. And so I would say nobody understood that particular process better than him. And so that's what I mean. The more you can niche down and focus, the easier it is to focus on mastering something and getting good at it. Uh, and it doesn't mean you can't expand from there. Right? As you build a successful career, you can, you can pick other concepts, you can pick other products, you can pick other sales processes and, and, and become a more well-rounded agent um, if you want to or if you need to in order to scale your business. But there's a lot of power in focus. There's a lot of power in mastering something. And what I find a lot of agents will do is they come in and the first thing they start doing is trying to learn all kind of carriers. And, and you can see they're, they're learning this concept today and this concept tomorrow. And they're learning this, this niche and they're just bouncing around. And it's just a recipe for not getting any traction. And maybe there's some success stories of people that start that way, but I don't know very many. I know people that make a lot of money in only really, really staying in a, in a particular niche, right? And, and maybe occasionally mastering another one. So um, that's just a quick piece of advice. And if you can find someone that can actually train you and teach you on a particular niche, right? A different product niche, a sales concept. 
and you can go out and master that and follow a proven system, that is the fastest way to really scale up and grow your business. So I encourage you to do that. There's a lot of shiny objects out there. It's very tempting to to, to want to bounce around. I get it. But one of the things we try to do is let's master something. Let's be the best at a niche, and then we can take on another uh, and and go learn something else and try to master that. And and that's how we kind of grow uh, and advance our career. So um, if you're brand new, if you've just obtained a life insurance license, you're trying to figure out what direction you want to go, or or whether you're looking to learn some, some new, you know, make some changes, uh, fill out the link below. Uh, someone from our team will reach out to you and just see if, hey, we might be a great fit. We train and support uh, both full-time and part-time and top producing agents. Uh, we do specialize in selling over the phone, but uh, we also um, sell face-to-face and, and do a lot of things in advanced markets and so forth. So uh, if you're watching this and, and you're um, looking for uh, some opportunities, some training, some people to partner with and fill out the link, someone will reach out to you. We'd love to chat with you.